Hey everybody, it's Eric again. Hey, I wanted to come to you today. Um, I'm not sure if any of you follow the Fab Forums. Um, the gentleman on there, I forget his name now, but I follow him on Facebook. And he does a lot of neat fabricating stuff. He does Mustang stuff. He's actually building a custom Mustang uh, that he calls the Bibster. And this guy does metal fabricating and things like that. Really, really talented guy. If you get a chance, check him out. Again, it's called the Fab Forms. But he does, anyway, the reason I bring that up is he does a, a segment every week. It's called, It's Friday Fool, You Need This Tool. Well, obviously, I can't do that because that's his deal. So, but instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you a tool that I just started using this week. Uh, I don't know if anybody follows my Facebook page, but you know I've been working on the F-250, getting rid of rust, putting repair panels on. Um, so this tool here is what they call a crimping pliers. It's like a vice grip. has a lock here that you can set with the jaws here. Now you can see they're a little different than your regular vice grip. Okay. So basically what you do is you take this tool... And you lock it down, but what you want to, what it does is, when you cut, let's say you're putting a repair panel <clears throat> on your vehicle, whatever you're working on. In my case, I'm um, doing around the wheel wet, the rear wheel wells on an F-250. So when you cut that all out, and you go to put your new panel on, what you do with this tool is before you put the panel on, what you come back about a quarter inch off of your cut line. So in other words, you have a quarter inch lip you're going to have on there that you're going to fasten your repair panel to. So what this tool does is you slide it on there back against here, the back edge, and you crimp this down. What it does is it takes your, 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 your fender and it actually puts a bevel. Now that's, that's exaggerated. So that way when you set your um, when you set your repair panel on, the edge of the repair panel sh theoretically should set down in the recessed part, which will make it even with the existing fender or whatever area you're fixing, whether it's a door, the fender, tailgate, the doghouse your wife puts you in. You know, it'll fit in nice. So that way, when you weld it or when you weld it or pot rivet it, epoxy it, whatever you're going to do, you ha you only have to use minimal body filler to get that nice smooth edge on there. So that's what this helps with. Again, it's called the crimping pliers. I got this bad boy from Summit Racing for about 22 bucks. Um, it does make a nice job. Um, I've used it once. I have to do the other side yet, so I'm going to use it probably again later this weekend. And like I said, it's a really good. It's it, it's if you're going to do a lot of repair panel work or patch panel work, I would recommend getting this. It's going to help you make a whole lot nicer job and a whole lot easier. So, but alrighty then. So just a little tip. Uh, if you like this, let me know. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, like the video. Give me some feedback. Maybe you have other ideas as far as what uh, what you do as far as repair panels and putting them on. Uh, so again, take care. Watch out for each other. Have a great day, guys.